What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. We get a free wizard, so we're at my shop, and I'm giving him 140k on top. See what he decides to do here. An extra reroll, and he does not have enough money for anything else. He does not have any uh, treasury, so he can't add 10k, unfortunately, as much as he would like to. Surprised he's taking an extra reroll and not taking an uh, extra apo, because my team's made to hurt him potentially if the armor breaks go good All right. <clears throat> Should be fun with some wizards in play. <coughs> he wins the toss. He elects to receive. Interesting choice with the Dark Elves. A lot of times the Elves choose to play defense first while they have a full roster to try to get a steal a defensive touchdown. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, just catching up on this real quick. This is nice. Nice. Um. All right, that's good enough. I'm done. All right, so let's get our skill set up here. Hey, Shattered, how you doing? Oh, that's right. I'm missing two source, unfortunately. Hmm, that sucks. 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 <coughs> He doesn't have any strength, does he? He does not. He is decidedly short on skills, actually. 12-man bench, though. Uh, let's get him here, him here. Let's get our loner out here. And let's get our rookie out here. We'll have our strength three here. Our edge a five here, our edge four here, and diving tackle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so what I can do is put him here. Ooh, ooh, no. I like it how I had it. No, I don't like that because he could hit all three of those with a fireball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does he have any move eight? I don't think he does. There move seven. There move seven. Yeah, he's got the edge boosted one. But that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to hit. <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. Yeah. All right, so Wizard cannot hit more than three of any player at a time. Two, two, yeah, three, three. Man, I can't let him hit all three of my edge pieces at once. So three, three, two, two, three, or three. If I put him here, if I put that edge piece there, he could hit all three of my big boys, my two edges and my strengths. So can't let him do that. Oh, didn't realize I was on all caps. You just made the most conservative decision I've ever made in Blood Bowl just now in my fun, uh, TPBO game. Well up 1-0. I didn't risk a 1 in 36 GFI to score on the chance that it could scatter out of bounds and the Skaven could draw off of it. Doing well, just won my TPBO game against the Scarring Skaven. Nice. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's better to just not do anything, right? Even like like in the match I was watching earlier with Andy Davo, there was uh, a turn 23 in overtime, um, or turn 24 in overtime for the the offensive half. The guy shouldn't have done anything because he had no rerolls and everything he could do was one die. Um, and if he turned over, he would have opened it up for Andy's kids live to have a really a solid chance to get the ball out and score. So at that point, he should have just not done nothing, just ended his turn and not done any move at all where he was at he had the best chance to to keep the ball in his hands um so there's times like that when it's better to just not do anything right or better not to move a piece or two for instance with with lizards and detox can tell you this sometimes it's better to not take any action at all with your crocs because you don't want to take a chance of him boneheading and losing that prehensile tail in that tackle zone so sometimes it's better to just leave him where he's at and not do nothing with him uh yeah, it's a lot of skinks. I normally have five skinks on this team, uh, and I got a loner because I have uh, two source off this match. Two source miss next game this match. I get the extra reroll. <clears throat> That's nice. I'm assuming I got fame. Nope, I do not. He has fame. He rolled a two and I rolled a three, and I have the uh, the coach and the assistant, or the cheerleader, which... Oh, he had two guard. That's how he could get that hit. I should have paid more close attention that he had that many guard. I didn't realize he had that much guard. So I rolled a four with my nine. He rolled a seven with his seven, so yeah. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, he's got Frenzy. Ah, he gets the pal. But he does leave the uh, Witch Elf out there for me. I wonder why he went with that Witch Elf and not the Tackle one. Because she's only got 6 SPP. So anyway, he rolled a 14, or got a 14. I got a 13. So he got me by 1 on fame. Oh, that stinks. But he, I rolled a 3 plus my cheerleader. He rolled a 2 plus his fame. So that's how I got the reroll. So I could potentially go after the Witch Elf if I wanted to. Um, oh, he fails to go for it. Nice. That's an instant reroll. Cause if, and if he double fails, the ball is wide open for me. Oh, he went from a 1 to a 6. That would have been nice if he would have insta-failed there because that ball is wide open. That would not have been pretty for him. <coughs> Wow, he actually leaves me a chance to hit his edge piece. Quicksilver has left the server. Four, five, six. Yeah, he leaves me a solid chance there. Wait a minute, how did he get two dice on him? Does he have Dauntless? No, he doesn't have. Oh, he does have. That is Dauntless. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that was something different. 
Wow, I should have paid a lot more closer attention to his fucking skill set, man. Holy crap. Totally did not see those skills at all. The fact that he had three guard and that he has a Dauntless. <laughs> that was not good. Another Dauntless there, too. He had, uh... Oh, he got the Dauntless. We'll stay here. I do have block on my Crocs, so... Now he's got to bring this girl in if he wants to get two dice on that Crocs. Yep. <clears throat> and he probably hits with this Blitzer here. So he can push him this way. No, he doesn't. Wow. We'll just stay right here so I can get back up and keep that tail on everybody. One, two, three, four, four. I'm going to get a hit on his edge piece. Ooh, I could fireball that. What do we got here? That would be a fun fireball right there, wouldn't it? His guard, his edge, both of his runners. Or no, only his only runner, but his edge five blitzer. Nah, I'm not going to fireball yet. I'm not going to fireball that yet. See if I can break here. Yep. Oh, and a KO. Nice. We'll take that. Yes, we will. We will take that. That's my loner. So let's put my loner here. Just let him suck up that hit right there. Let's get him here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could get up there. Does he have tackle anywhere? No tackle here. No tackle there. No tackle there. None. 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 Tackle there. None. Okay. So we're going to leave our strength three piece back to be able to have fun with whatever he needs to do later. do I got four yeah so if he hits with him it's just a one die because of the guard there so thanks for the host there s hunter appreciate that appreciate that my man
It was a tasty looking witch detox, but I'd rather get after that tasty looking Edge 5 Blitzer that he just put out there for me. And unfortunately, I didn't get the Fallon, but that works. This play works. I've got him surrounded pretty easily. Um, he could definitely get out, but he's got to worry about getting this Diving Tackle out because I've got Diving Tackle on this guy now. I've got Tackle on him as well, so his dodge skill doesn't work. And if he fails any of that, I have my Edge 5 piece to pick it up and just run away like crazy. So he's got to be very careful with what he does here. Dodging out with tackle applied. If he rolls the one here, that screws him. Getting gutsy with the dodges there. <clears throat> really, all he needs to do is just mark this guy up. Oh, he does the one die and gets the skull. Holy cow. Into a push. Nice. So we'll just come on up here. Keep that diving tackle on him. Now he'll probably dodge out and blitz here, would be my guess. So if he rolls the one here, he's screwed. Ah, oh, he doesn't roll the one. Still got to get it both down or a pow, and he doesn't. Beautiful. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> He's only gets one die there because of the guard. And that frees up my strength five tackle piece as well. Yes, he does have an armor boost because he took an armor break. So I wanted to get, since he's strength 5, I wanted to get that armor back. Nice. No takedown there. Thank you, Block Crocs. I love you. Block Crocs is so freaking awesome. Nice. We'll just stand pat. We'll let the witch go ahead and do her best against me. If she doesn't get me the hit, oh, oh, she gets the yellow on the first hit. Damn it. We're still going to stand firm. If she hadn't got that, I would have let her push me here. Which would have took her into a one die. <clears throat> That's all right. Not really worrying too much about all that. Go ahead and try to dodge out of there. Tackle applied and diving tackle applied, and his reroll is already gone. Oh, he goes for the one die instead. Ah, oh, and he gets gets away with it. Of course, the skull is the only thing he fails on. And he gets to take down with the both down there. No break, though. That's good. I imagine he tries to go ahead and dodge out of here. It's the only thing he really can do. Oh, he's not freed up. He's got that uh, piece right there on him, doesn't he? <laughs> I need him to fail this dodge out. Oh, he doesn't try to dodge. Oh, and he gets the yellow. Wow. Lucky dog. Lucky, lucky dog. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh. How did he... Oh, he's got guard. No? no. Oh, he's got guard right there. Oh, and he breaks. Dang it. Just a stun, though, so not too terrible. Oh, the dude just got lucky as hell. <clears throat> Dude just got lucky as hell with that pal. Well, the both down would have worked too, so either way he did. He could have easily taken him down. Got him in a bad spot right here though, so. Ooh, and another break. Just a stun though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get guard in here. Nice. I can blitz in with my strength three if I wanted. No guard there, and that gives me two dice on him. Or can't get around to here, can I? No. Nope. Um. Well, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would mark him up. Put him over here so I have the two dice on my frenzy if I need it. Let's go ahead and do this hit. Need a pow. I don't get it. Pow. Ah, darn it. It's <clears throat> so one die. Is there a way? There is actually a way. I think I can do this. It would mean sacrificing all my guys up here, though. If I go there and then there. No, because I'd have to go there. I push him. Ooh, yes, yes, I can do this. I can do this. If I go here, here. And then I hit Hoping here. It'd be a one die hit there, though. But I could push him into here. Let's try it and see what happens. Ugh, I'd take a one die push, though. Unless All right, let's try it. Come on, baby, a push or a yellow. That'll work. That will work. We'll stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to have to dodge. So let's go this route. Gonna try to pass it to his buddy there that's in two tackle zones probably. Could try to pass it out to the witch, I guess. He's gotta try to dump it off because he's getting surfed. He probably did not see that surf at all. Oh, he decides not to dump it off. Ooh, and a KO. Nice. Let's see how this ball bounces. Or gets thrown in, I should say. Oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That is just nasty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could get to here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm going to go one more move here. Because I got sure feet, right? Yeah, I got sure feet. There we go. That way I'm at least a step closer. And if he does do the one die here, no matter what, he's into another one die with the frenzy. All right, I like it. <clears throat> 
gets the blitz there, so he's gonna. Oh, and he gets the freaking yellow. Damn it! I needed him to not get a yellow. So he's gonna run all of those guys down here, which is fine. I do still have the wizard if I want it. He got so extremely lucky with that throw in. That throw in absolutely saved him. Absolutely saved him. Any throw in but that and he's done. He doesn't he doesn't get that. So absolutely nasty. What's up, Ethan? Yeah, yeah, you can jump on in. No problem. Zombie joined your What's channel. Up? Hey, I seen your PM on the the SPP stuff. What do you think on the cost of the stuff? Should we just leave it at what the cost actual cost was? Yeah, I think because the other um, the other training stuff was uh, six SPP as well. It seems to be right just like for the pricing. Line. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yep. All right. Cool. That's I'll it? I'll get those added tomorrow. Then. Yep. That was it. Yeah, well, I don't think we ever had those. I think that was something maybe Neverworking came up with, but we never added. So I'm fine with adding that. No big deal. I thought we had it the very first season because we actually had it listed on the web page. Oh, did we? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm wondering if we had it in the very first season, actually. But who knows? In any event, I think we got it back now. So. Well, it'll be there now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, thanks for the host, Big Burls. Appreciate it. And welcome in to all your viewers. But yeah, that's all I needed, man. All right, cool. Take care, man. Good luck on your yep. game. Have a good one. Zombie left your channel. We have our Fun League match, private match. Uh, this is interesting here because I could, I could Lightning Bolt and... I could lightning bolt and take a chance with running down with my edge pieces and picking it up and passing it back up. Because if I pass it back up, he has nobody back to be able to do anything with it, right? Question is, how far can I get with these guys? One, He's move eight sprint, though. He's move eight with no sprint. So he could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could get to here and then pass back up to him. <laughs> <clears throat> question is do I fireball here or do I lightning bolt if I fireball and I get him down and not the ball carrier I could blitz with him if I fireball and get the ball carrier down but not him I could still blitz with him here and get him out so that it would be easier to get in and get the ball hey cataclysm how you doing quick draw how you doing I think this is a good time to use the lightning bolt. <laughs> or actually, no. I'm going to use the fireball. And hit these three. Take a chance. Oh, I got all three. Holy cow. I did not expect that. Did not expect to get that. So, I think now I bring the loner over here. Actually, no, I'm going to foul with the loner. The loner is going to foul. Um, let's just do this hit here with him. We both got blocked. That's fine. The problem is, I kind of want to... Eh, damn it. Is he dodge? He's not. Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get the move busted crocs here. We're going to get... Tackle down here on her. 
We're going to bring this guy down and mark him off here. We're going to blitz this guy with no dodge with my piling on. Oh, and a break. Just a stun, so I will pile on with that. Oh, it's KO. Um, no, I'm not going to pile on. I'd rather have him KO'd. Uh, this guy is going to come down here and get on the ball on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which would let me go. Uh, that's a tough pass there. Or I could go one step further with him. No, I want to pass with the edge five. <clears throat> that scared me for a second. A double one there would have been really bad. Oh, come on with the ones, really? Jiminy Christmas. Oh, yeah, I got to make one more go for it here, or one go for it. Oh, I wasted my six. Wasted my six, man. Oh my god, he fucking rode the six to intercept. Are you kidding me? Wow. Unreal. Well, he's not going anywhere. He does have Dauntless, but it, no matter what he does, he's he's going to be uphill here. <clears throat> wow, man. Are you kidding me? He rose the fucking six to intercept. Unreal. I should have been out right there. Well, he can free up here if he gets the takedown here on this guy. Unreal, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh That was a three-plus plus pass, too, I think, wasn't it? Uh, oh, I don't even get to see. I think it was a three-plus pass. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ain't that a bitch. <clears throat> At least he's down to one reroll left. Oh, he didn't blitz there. That's interesting. Why didn't he blitz there? So even if he makes Dauntless here, he's still uphill. Unless he tries to go just one die Dauntless against the Crocs. <laughs> Okay, he could do it that way if he gets him in there. Oh, he's going to Dauntless that way. Interesting. Okay. He can at least push him off, but where does he go now? I guess he follows here and dodges out this way? He's still got prehensile tail to worry about. I guess that's what he does. He dodges out this way. I don't know what he's going to do then. <laughs> so 
surprised he did that dodge first. I gotta just left him there and did that dodge there first, just in case he happened to fail. Tail doesn't do nothing. Is he gonna come back and pass it to him, maybe? Hmm, I don't know, that's interesting. I think I would have probably just did the blitz here on this guy and tried to take him down and then dodged out this way and tried to run out around maybe. I don't know. That's not quite what I was expecting, that's for sure. I mean, I'm going to get a tackle hit on him no matter where he goes. Oh, wow. He's going to make the go for it. Well, he does have a reroll. So I'm going to have to hit him with this guy, which means two go for it. I do still have all four of my rerolls, though. Not sure what you're thinking about. There's not much else you can do. You could pass if you wanted, I guess. He could do that. I think that would be a mistake, though, because I got too many, too many edge pieces down there that could easily get to the ball. Oh, he's only moved five. Damn it. Forgot he's only moved five. Uh 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 uh. That sucks. Oh, that was unexpected. Oh, so was that. Oh, wow. That was very unexpected. Holy cow. We'll take it, though. Badly hurt, and that puts him up to two. That's his first two uh, SPPs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. So we can get one die here. I don't need to, though. I can get through right there. I just need to make two go-forts here and get a yellow. Make the first go for it. Make the second go for it. Don't get the yellow, so I will reroll. Don't get the yellow there either. Uh 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 uh. Ain't that a bitch. But that's okay. I can get the prehensile tail over here now, hopefully. There we go. <clears throat> and, um, let's see here. So before I do that, hmm, how do I want to do this? Ugh.
All right, I like it. <laughs> you don't want to lose a Tumi uh, Detox? What the hell? Why not? The reason why I went ahead and moved... Nice. Oh, he's got Tackle on him. So, reason why I went ahead and moved this guy in here is because he could have potentially um, lightning bolted the Crocs. And then if the Crocs goes down, just dodge out this way and run in. <clears throat> so this keeps him from lightning bolting the Crocs right there. Oh, he gets the pal there. Damn it. I really did not want him to get the pal there. Do not break him. Good. I'll take it. Lust Shatterstar. Nice name. Missy Mayhem. Cinderella Blades. <laughs> oh, he's got guard there. Ah, damn it. Nice. No tackle. Um, I will dodge and come here. That's okay. I was hoping for a push again, or, or a d uh, stumbles, so I could move back here and push the witch in to be surfed. He does have Pretensile Tail and Tackle applied, so if he rolls a 1 or a 2, he's got to use his last reroll. <clears throat> he's probably going to try to dodge out and then pass it to this guy, it looks like. Nope. Oh, he's just going to come out here and try to run to safety. Interesting. I need him to fail the dodge here. At least make him use the reroll. There we go. Yep. So reroll's at least gone. That's good. Double fail would be really nice. Come on, one or two. One or two. Nope, rolls a six. But that's all right. I can still easily get to him. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Or I can get to him here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. If I can get the takedown on him. And if he doesn't dodge him out and come mark him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Well, I thought about that, Detox, but I wanted to get this witch. The 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 deal was to get the witch here so that I could surf the witch next turn. Because he would have sidestepped here, and then I could easily surf the witch with the, uh, with the um, Crocs. So that was the whole point for doing it the way I did it. I thought about sidestepping out to where I could get back over here to keep him pinned on the sideline with the ball carrier. Rug Ehrman 08 has connected. <clears throat> yeah, my goal is to kill his team. I'm not going to be able to defend the championship at this point, so I don't care about winning the division. I just want to kill his team. <clears throat> Now, if I do win, I still want to win, obviously, but I'm, my goal is not necessarily to go all out for the win. My goal is to try to hurt him and try to win. Wow. <laughs> he wasted his lightning bolt on that? Wow. Wow. Holy cow, man. 
I'm not quite sure I understood that, but okay. Yeah, I, I, there's only two weeks left after this, and there's just no way I'm going to um, be able to come back and defend the championship. I've won it two of the last three years and finished second the other year. Bounce good, ball. No. <laughs> uh, well, all right then. There is that. That just happened. Wow. What the hell? Stupid source. Ah, double skulls. Double skulls. Damn right, murder it is, baby. <clears throat> oh, well, I got two of them stunned at least. So he's got five guys he can move? Yep, because he only had seven on the pitch. That's a blitzer, so he does have block. He gets to pal. Let's hope he doesn't break. Nice, I'll take it. Uphill Blitz. Oh, he's got Dauntless. Damn it. Forgot about Dauntless. He's got two guys with Dauntless, and those fucking pieces are annoying as hell right now to me. He's been getting away with them on every hit, too. Even against my two strength fives, whenever he's Dauntless in there, he hasn't failed one yet. Which is only a three plus on, the, on those, but still. He has made every single one. He's due for a failure on one of them, at least. That should be uphill, even with two assists. She's looking three, four, five, four, three. Yep, so still uphill there. If he moves her over to here, he could get it. Goes uphill. Doesn't get a takedown, but he will go into a frenzy uphill again. Oh, one die. How'd he get one die? Oh, because, yeah, it's just strength four. 
just strength four, and he has the one assist there. So. Ah, uh, damn it! Stupid sore uh, Crocs. Uh, make this. Shoo. I really needed him to not double fail that. <laughs> I needed to have that diving tackle on this guy here. That Crocs did not help me that turn, though. I could have used him in the spot where I wanted him, right here. <clears throat> Forcing him to almost have to use the uh, wizard for the lightning bolt here. This turn or next turn, one of the two. <clears throat> yeah, that's what he should have done. He should have taken that hit there that I gave him. Chance to get one of my skinks off. Then he does break. Just a stun, though, so I'm okay with that. And it leaves this guy in scoring position as well. On the off chance, he is able to get the ball out. <clears throat> But that was his Dauntless guy. 
His other Dauntless guy, I guess I've got him off the pitch. Oh, I did. That was one of the guys I can't... Casualty. Nice. <laughs> that doesn't really help you much there. Oh, it does with him, though. Yeah, it does give you the one die with him. <coughs> I was thinking with the Witch Elf, that didn't really help because this guy's still taking the assist away on the Witch Elf. But it does free that up for the Witch Elf to dodge out here. Yep. And she's going to go straight for my armor, Broke Skink. Fucker. With tackle. God dang it. Phew. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That could have hurt. <clears throat> so that was definitely a lot better... Uh, game plan and movement there for what he just did gets the one die but nothing so now he's going to go into an up uh, uphill uh, we'll just take the both down so where's my tackle one two three one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to push him further away. Oof. Ish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Huh. He's not guard. Damn it, that sucks. Don't really have a whole lot of choice with what I can do here, do I? Cross that bitch. Ah, oh, just a KO. Damn it. Damn it. You're supposed to cross him. Bastard. Oh, Croxy, what are you fucking doing? You're killing me, Crocs. You're killing me, Smalls. At least I wasted the one on that instead of the go for it, I guess, right? Make him use a lightning bolt right here. And if he does, I have my edge piece here unless he comes up and and uh, blitzes with him. At least try to protect him a little bit. <clears throat> I didn't get the score with the source like I had hoped, but that's all right. 
Score is a score. <clears throat> I might try to actually score with my rookie source next half if I get enough takeoffs and get the numbers in a good spot for me. I would expect him to not use the lightning bolt here, yeah. Because if he does, I still have this piece down there to easily pick it up and run it in. He'll save it to where he can probably do better damage with it next half, potentially. Oh, he gets the pal. Dang it. He might still, uh... He might still potentially fireball if he dodges out and puts tackle on this piece and then uses the fireball at the end of the turn. Potentially. <clears throat> nope. Not going to do that. He's going to go after the rookie. What did that poor rookie do to you? Huh? That poor rookie didn't do nothing to you. Why you got to be mean like that? And he breaks. He's trying to keep me from potentially scoring with that rookie next half, isn't he? He's trying his hardest. <laughs> trying his hardest. Hey, the Crocs moved. Woo woo. Looky there. Looky there, looky there. See if we can get three dice on this tackle witch elf and killer. Or are this uh, yeah, the tackle witch elf, yep. Oh, I'm gonna re roll that shit. Triple skull, baby. Oh <laughs> That's just my luck. Breaker! Killer! Killer! Oh snap! I called that shit, boy! Instant APO there. Oh, it's not dead, but it is stat broke. What is a 5-1? That is definitely a stat break or a niggle. One of the two. He takes the 5-1. It is a niggle. Nice. Well, at least I don't have to worry about her the rest of this game. Now do I? Damn, I was really thinking about fouling that whore, too. <laughs> Which elves are whores? Dark, gothic type whores, right? Could foul the other one. Nah, let's just go ahead and score it. Let's just go ahead and score it. <clears throat> I got my murder that I was looking for, though. That's why they call this the Fun League. Kill everybody. Have fun. Chaos. Be a cunt. That's the first rule of Fun League. Be a cunt. My loner comes back. One of his four come back. He's not in good shape for the start of this half. This is going to be a murderific half, I think. I'm definitely going to be trying to get it to my rookie Saurus for a score. Shit, I might even try to get it to him to pass the ball. <coughs> How freaking awesome would that be? <laughs> I might try to do that. I might try to pass it with him and then try to score with him and level him up. That would be so freaking amazing. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Oh, his edge 5 piece stayed out. That's nice. One of his guard pieces stayed out. Yep, nice. All right, so Croxy's going to go in the middle here. Actually, he's going to go right there. We'll have this guard piece here. And then him here. That'd get five dice across the board, or three dice across the board on all them guys. Where's my. Oh, there's my other edge skink. And 
And then the dirty player will get hit by the frenzy. And then the dirty player will get fouled as well, most likely. <coughs> Let's hope for no blitz here. High kick, we'll take it. Watch this. Come on, Soros, catch this ball, baby. Six. Six that bitch. Ah, oh, he rolled a two. Damn it. So close. <laughs> ah, fun shit, man, fun shit. There's a KO. Nice. One more Dark Elf off the pitch for this half. Dirty players niggled as well. Come on, cross this mother. I don't want him fouling me. Ugh! I didn't want him fouling me this game, damn it. Come on, baby. Ah. Uh. We'll just wait. I'm not gonna roll the reroll yet. He can't get nobody to the ball. He can definitely flood back, but he can't get nobody to the ball. And next turn, I'll try picking it up with one of my edge pieces instead of him. It depending on how he floods back and gets the the backfield looking. Okay. I did not expect him to blitz there, but okay. I kind of thought he might blitz over here on this one, but interesting choice. Rug Ermin zero eight has left the server. Rug Ermin zero eight. Nice. He does not reroll that. Oh, he does. Wow, why? Oh, and he double wound it. Why would you waste a reroll on that? I don't understand that at all. No reason at all to waste a double uh, reroll right there. I just do not get that play at all. <clears throat> No sense making a go for it to get the runner. Just get this guy since he's guard anyway. Oh, really? Well, guess we're not going to hit him, are we? 
but we got him marked up pretty good. So I, since they're all marked up pretty good, I'll go ahead and try to get the ball with him. Um, let's bring him down, though. Let's bring him down this time just to get another guy on the ball. <coughs> This guy's not acting like he wants to grab this ball, is he? Rolled a one and a three, or a two and a three. I don't remember. The first one was either a one or a two. Three on that one. Definitely not acting like he wants to pick that ball up, though. Or hold the ball at all. And then when he does finally roll the ball, the die that he needs to pick it up, he'll probably roll a one to pass it. <laughs> Uh, dodge out of prehensile tail here. Makes it. And they have two dice. Oh, but no takedown. Nice. Does he re-roll it? I bet he re-rolls it. Yep. Told you. That was easy as hell to see happening. Easy as hell. That's Dauntless, yep, and he's going to dodge out. Come on, Prehensile Tail, do a job. Nope. Absolutely does not do a job. All right, so I can't play around with the ball no more. i got to pick it up with the edge piece this time. He's probably going to try to dodge too, or maybe not. Nope, he doesn't. So let's do this hit first. Oh, come on, Niggle. Do a job on him. Reboot 4X has connected. Come into play, Niggle. Hit him up. There we go. KO's better than nothing, I guess. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, I can get him to here. Even if I get to here, he could get to me. He's dodge. Ugh, that sucks. Um. All right, let's just do the hit here then. Fuck it. Oh, come on, really? Wow. And I get the pal with the Crocs anyway. Jeez. That's nasty. That is nasty right there. That was gutsy because the ball is wide open. Ugh. I haven't used... No, I didn't use the reroll yet. Shoo. It's gutsy because that ball is open. Since I still have my reroll, I'll do the hit. Nice. I'll take it.
Oh, I rolled a one to pick up. Really? Phew, thank God. I almost rolled a double one. Holy fuck. Almost rolled a double one to pick up. Fucker. One, two. That made it, almost made it really interesting. I played a lot of risky plays there. <laughs> Leaving that ball wide open and not even caring. A lot of risky plays. <laughs> oh, he does still have... No, he doesn't have the lightning bolt anymore. He lightning bolted in the at the end of the first half. I forgot about that. He does not have a lightning bolt anymore. He should just leave him there and not go out. Because if he goes out, he opens up my tackle to blitz. Yep, thank you. Use your reroll. He will. Oh, he didn't. That's surprising. I absolutely expected him to use a reroll there. Absolutely expected him to use the reroll there. We'll move him very last. So I want to get him in here, hopefully. Let's do this hit first since it's loner. Because if he turns over, I want to have my source over there by that skink. Oh, and a break. Oh, and a dead. Holy fuck. Oh, that's just a rookie on that one. Wow, that was unexpected. Loner skink. What a, what a freaking uh, hit by the loner skink there, man. Wow. Come on, baby, catch this ball. <laughs> this guy just does not want to have this ball in his hands, does he? That's another one. So he's rolled a 1, a 3, and a 1, I believe. I know it's a 3-1. I think the first one was a 1 as well. It was either a 1 or 2. I think it was a 1, though. <coughs> guy just does not want to catch that ball. <coughs> The one die hit there. Um, we'll just sidestep right here. <coughs> Q. 
keep it in play to make him have to dodge this way to spend a lot of movement to come out. <clears throat> Guard there. And he's dodging out a prehensile tail, which is good. Makes the dodge a little bit harder anyway, a 3 plus instead of a 2 plus. <laughs> Ooh, gonna blitz the diving tackle instead. Nice. No takedown. I like it. Oh, he re-rolls it. Oh, and he gets the takedown on the second roll. Wow. Um, Let's go ahead and sidestep here. Let's make him follow. Because if he... Or, or choose not to follow. Because if he does, he's marked on the crocs. So. But it does free up the dodge out here. Which is good for him. The diving tackle would have gotten him. He remembered the diving tackle on that one for sure. <clears throat> and I would have got him with diving tackle too. So it would have made a made him have to use the dodge skill. Uh, and he wouldn't have had the dodge skill because of the tackle. So he'd have had to use the, the reroll. So, and he wouldn't have had the reroll because he used it on the hit. So, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Aggressive use of the reroll, but it worked out for him, and it absolutely worked out for him because I, like I said, I would have turned him over if he hadn't done that. I don't care about all that. <clears throat> Just get him in here. Actually, I should have put the Crocs in there, but that's all right. That'll work too. They're all dodge, right? So let's push him out. How's it? Oh, because of sh shoot. All right, that's fine. Does he sidestep? He is not. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's think about this here, cause. If I push him, no, that wouldn't work. Yeah, none of that would work. So let's just get him over here. No, let's not. Let's leave him here. Let's put the loner over here. Let's put the prehensile tail here. Go ahead and hit here. If I hit here and push here, push him out here, then I push. Yeah, let's do it that way. I like that. Nefarious has left the server. Got the yellow, which is what I needed. Any yellow would have worked. And then we'll stay. Oh, we had a break. Just a stun, though. Ooh, and I get a pal. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. And a break. Oh, and an injury. Goodbye, Witch Elf. Do not have to worry about her any longer.
Come on, Source, catch a ball this time. Five or six. <laughs> oh, man. And I catch it back anyway. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> nice. What did he roll that time? Another two. So a 1-3, a 1-2. Four straight rolls of nothing being higher than a three. There we go. Last re-roll. He does use it. And double fail. And breaks himself and injures himself. That will pretty much put the capper on this game, I think. That will pretty much do her. Ruiner has left. See if I can get a pal here with four dice. Nope. Oh, he's got sidestep. Shit. I just screwed myself out of getting a hit from the Crocs with him. Ah, uh, just totally screwed myself there, didn't I? Totally screwed myself on that one. All right, let's try this again. Five or six, baby. Yeah, finally! Now I'm going to try the pass. <laughs> yeah. Now I need another five or a six. Come on, baby. Oh, I rolled a three. I will re-roll this one. Come on, baby. Oh, into a two. Damn it. Arr, so close. Oh shit, what did he roll? He rolled, oh, he rolled a skull. Ugh. Alright, so three dice here. Let's see if we can get a pal for the Crocs. Nope. Two dice here. Sidestepped into another two dice. All right, I got two more turns here to get this. I need to get the pickup first. I won't re-roll the pickup. Oh, he rolled a four. So close. So close. Actually, I should have re-rolled the pickup because then I could have just got the touchdown with him. Not worried about the pass. <laughs> I almost didn't take the skull just so I could chase him down, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's just try to pick it up with him one more time. Not even worry about the pass now. Yeah, at least I get the three points with him for the touchdown. <clears throat> That's good enough. Thank you, Oni. Yeah, it was pretty brutal for the Dark Elves. 
couple of kills, one that he apoed into a niggle. And he's he's didn't even get to face my full team. I had two Saurus out of this game. <laughs> Imagine what it would have been like if I'd have had them in, right? Ugh. That would have been flat out ugly for him. That would have been ugly. Um, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to give him these hits on these big guys. We'll let him hit the rookie Saurus, the loner skink, and the rook rookie skink. He can have at it with those guys. Definitely was a rough one for him. He still didn't get his edge piece back, did he? Nope. Oh, shit. He's going to break. The guy that just got the five, he's going to break him. Watch. Yep. Told you. <laughs> I told you. Thankfully, it was just a stun. Let's hope. Let's hope that he gets the MVP. <clears throat> and not the loner skink. If the loner skink gets the MVP, I'm going to have to buy him. Because that's a level up. He's already got a casualty. I'd buy him and fire the skink that's sitting at one. <laughs> Well, he's not going to foul. That's good. Gets the vanity pass at the end for the extra SPP. We'll take it. It was a good game. Solid game. Nobody hurt. Lots of SPP. Let's hope the rookie source gets the MVP in levels. That would be really, really nice. I'll reroll that. Ooh, two of five. Nice. Uh, the skink did not get the MVP. That's good. So we will not buy him. We'll go ahead and turn him down. Oh, uh, it was my uh, armor broke diving tackle skink that steals the MVP. Damn it. It was almost, almost exactly what I wanted at the end. Not quite, but almost. <laughs> So that will put us back up into the middle of the pack. Nope. <clears throat> uh, once it's confirmed, it will put us up here, 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Or 2-1-2, two, and two, sorry. So I'll be behind him. I'll be in fourth. 2-3-4, three, 3-4, four, three, four, two, four, 5 He's already played, so I'll be ahead of the Brits. Who's already played the chaos, Jakala's chaos? Yeah. So I'm two points behind Jakala. No, one point behind Jakala, who beat me this season. And these two still got to play. Nuffles, little monsters, and Uncle Bad. Oh, they play each other. Nice. And they're 
close to each other. I need them to draw is what I need. If they both draw, I could still potentially win the win the divi or win the uh, title again. I'm not expecting that to happen, but if that would happen and they draw, then that would be good for me. So I'll have my full team back next game. I was missing my move seven, and I was missing this uh, this guy here, my mighty blow block tackler. So he's an MVP away from leveling. He's still a ways. He's one point away from leveling. He's still a ways, still a ways. He's four points away from leveling. Uh, an MVP there. They're not going to level for a long time. He needs eight. And my Crocs is four away. <laughs> Shame I couldn't have got a uh, casualty or two there with the Crocs that game and got him leveled. It'd be nice to get him to 76. But beggars can't be choosers. That was a good game for me. I got the win, which is what I needed. Uh, got some good SPPs. I didn't think I was close enough to still have a chance to win the division, but evidently I am. So who do I play next week and the last week? Next week I play the Barrettes who are below me. The two teams above me are Nuffles Little Monsters and Uncle Bass. So this would be a potentially bad game. This is Skaven team here against a really heavy kill team, Chaos team. So that could be a, a hard match for him. Um, and then he's playing the, I think that's a Dark Elf team, the size of Drakenhof. No, Undead. So that could be a tough game for him too. He's Necro, Necro against Undead. It'll be an interesting game. And then the last week sees me playing the Necro and the Skaven playing the Undead. So, wow, the Undead's going to play a huge part in who wins the division this year, the title this year, not just the division. This is the championship title. There's no playoffs in this league. It's just straight up whoever wins the, at the end of the regular season is the, the league champion. So this Undead team is definitely going to play a huge part in what happens from here on out because he plays both of the top two teams in the last two weeks. And he is actually, he still actually has a chance to win it too. Um, he's playing the Undead down here this week. So he could still, he could still get in it and win it if he uh, has a good run out. It's going to be a fun last couple of weeks to see what happens. Hmm. It'd be interesting. All right. Well, good game. I'm going to stop the recording. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Do I see the line of my, my people home. back to the beginning? No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave may live.